Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, we're going to have a hands-on look at the new practice sets, which is currently in beta for Google Classroom. So let's get started. Here in my Google Classroom, you can see I can create a new assignment just as before. I'm going to click on Create, Assignment. However, what you will notice is at the bottom, we have an additional option now. You can see here, practice sets. Now, what are practice sets? Well, practice sets are really interactive ways of assessing your students. You give them a question, you have a powerful mathematical keyboard, as well as, as your students are answering questions, they will get hints and tips down the side whenever they get stuck. So let's just go ahead and try this out ourselves. I have a practice set here. Let's go ahead and create one, add a new practice set. And it pulls up this brand new feature or document type. You can see I've already created one right here, but if you wanted to get started from scratch, you can just click on create and then make a brand new one. However, I'm going to go ahead and use the algebra one. So let's go ahead and open up algebra. And here we are. This is just a demo. It's got two questions and that's it. We've got that question here. What is the value of X in the following equation? Then we've got that equation there and a box for them to answer. Now let's go ahead and click on edit because then you will see what it would look like if we were to build this from scratch. So here I can type my question. This is completely separate as it is an equation. It uses that special mathematical keyboard that you can see here this little icon on the side, and then the correct answer is placed there by you, the person who's creating this form. We're going to go down. Here's the second question. And again, we've got that answer there. You can see we've used the special keyboard. Now, this is all great, but what does this look like to the student? Well, here we can click on try as student. Now, what the student will see when you assign this, once this is fully rolled out, is they will get this special type of practice set, almost like a form. We have a question. They can type their answer here. So let's just say, let's give it the wrong answer. Let's start with X equals two. And they have a space where they can show their work. Now, this can all be done on touch enabled devices, clicking here. We'll switch it to inking and they can start writing all their work. Great when you have stylus enabled Chromebooks. For now, I'm not going to use inking. I'm just going to erase that for now. And we are going to go back to typing. I'm just typing the wrong answer here and they can click on check. And obviously it's going to say that this is the wrong answer. Now I am stuck as a student, so I can click on this little show a hint down the side. And this is actually going to give me some additional information. As a teacher, I did not place this here. This is built into practice sets. It is using some AI magic to really provide your students with additional hints and tips. Sometimes it will even pull up some videos. So here, for example, we have another one. What is the value of? And it opens up that mathematical keyboard. So let's go ahead and give this the correct answer. We're going to say this is a negative one over two. So let's just add that there one. And then we're going to say over two. Okay, let's check the answer. This is being checked and this is correct. Now let's go back to the top and let's actually correct our mistake because this is a negative two. So let's go ahead and check that correct answer. Both are correct. And there we go. We get some confetti celebration. We have solved this and our teachers will get access to everything we've done. They can see how we are doing. Now here again, you can see some of Google's documentation about this new tool. So you have this area for your students to work. They get some tips and hints down the side as they get stuck, but you also get this massive dashboard for the teacher as they are grading. So you get some insights, who's struggling, how are they doing, which questions did they get wrong and how many attempts did they have at this? All this information is shared with teachers. Now, as I mentioned, this is still in beta. And if you would like to express your interest in joining the beta with your school domain, there is a link in the description below that you can click on 
and you can express your interest to join their beta program. Now, Google is bringing more and more schools into the beta program, but this can take time before it is fully rolled out. This is a very early preview. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Let me know in that comment section below, are you excited about practice sets? And do you think this will completely change how we assess students using Google Classroom? Is it better than Forms? Why is it better than Forms? What would you like to see added? Do you like the fact that we have that AI down the side helping our students? Let me know in that comment section below. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.